Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we'll start off. I'm still wearing my reanimator shirt. I was going to change it, but I decided not to. So we're going to do another video with this one. But shirt of the day, it's from one of my Fright Crate boxes. This is a men's large. So it's obviously it's bigger than some of the ones I normally wear. But yeah, this video is going to be if I could only keep five, 10 and 15 eyeshadow palettes. Now I went about this, I picked out five and then I was like, okay, if I was going to keep five more and then if I was going to keep five more, I didn't like go in and pick all 15 from the get go. Um, I did, yeah, I did five, 10 and then 15. So it may surprise you what the picks were. It surprised me a little bit, honestly. And I have more storage, so it was kind of hard to go through and like really look at everything, but I did the best I could. So if you want to see what palettes I would hypothetically keep and just keep on watching. Make sure you're subscribed to make sure your notification bell is turned on. Yeah, we're gonna jump into it. Right okay, now. so I have the piles in front of me. We'll start obviously with the first five and then we'll move, you know, five and five more. But um, I'm just gonna go down the pile. So the first one would be my little Smoke Obsessions Huda Beauty palette. This is probably one of my most traveled with, most used, like it's really grubby looking. Um, the shimmers in here are really messy and it's kind of hard to clean because it's so small, but I've used this one a lot. Every time I travel, this one ends up coming. So I decided to keep that one. Um, and interestingly enough, there's a green, little spoiler, there's a green palette in each pile. Um, Mike's favorite color, my husband's favorite color is green. So I do like green eyeshadow for that reason. But for the first five, I went with my... Um, Kaleidos Futurism One Sci-Fi Green. This has some really pretty grungy greens. Um, this is a more curated down version of the Gemini palette, which I do own that. Um, this one's a little more travel friendly. I think that's why I went with this. The um, Melt palettes, I've seen can fall apart, so I would never want to travel with the two that I have, but these, um, I have traveled with these, so I kept this one yeah I've seen where people's have just like even in the drawer like started to crumble and fall apart so I would never want to fly with those um the next one is probably not a surprise I kept my alien palette this is one of my favorite palettes ever I'm mad that he discontinued it I would love for him to come out with this again maybe in slightly different packaging I would totally purchase this again um interstellar Moon Rock and Probe are probably three of my favorite shades, like shimmer shades. And they probably swatch, don't look like anything spectacular, but this has one of my favorite like um, blacks. This has some of my favorite names, like you have X-Files, Tall Gray, Ghost, OG, and then Black Hole. And then there's some pretty greens in here. You have Flying Saucer and Abduction. And then Alien is a pretty green shimmer. I'll swatch that one too. So I just, I just love those. And then um, I'm going to end up with eyeshadow all over me. Martian Soil is a pretty mustard. Phone Home is almost like a deep flesh tone, but it's very, very pretty. I don't know. I just really like this palette and it would definitely obviously get more use if I only had five. And then I ended up keeping Jawbreaker. It's my most used colorful palette, so I couldn't not. And it's got a good array of mattes and shimmers. The only thing I would be lacking would be the Mini Breaker, just because it has some extra matte purples in it. Because the only like primary purple in here is shimmery. I mean, you do have Gumdrop, but that's obviously a lavender. But I would probably want to keep the Mini Breaker as a companion, but had to keep Drawbreaker, and then I ended up keeping my Norvina Volume 4 just because it's a pretty mauve pink color story, and I really like mauves and pinks, and you've got some browns and, you know, the pop of yellow, but this, I think, would be a nice neutral pink palette. So that's the first five. Was anybody surprised? Probably not by the Jeffree Star, just because those two are very heavily used, but let's see if you're surprised by the next ones. Can anybody guess what's gonna be in my next five? Pause this and leave those down below. 
Um, the first one is going to be the Emerald Obsession, my green one for this round. I just really like this. It's small, it's compact. Um, I like it a little better than my ColourPop one. The only, sh like I like that palette, but the, um, the Chartreuse Shimmer in there is very unique, but as a whole, I like, I've used this palette more, obviously. Like you can see some pretty big dips and it's grubby. And again, these travel really well. I ended up keeping my Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze from Kaleidos. It looks like this, just a neutrally brown. Um, the shimmers in here are pretty, are very pretty. So you got a nice silver, a red, and a pink, and then these matte browns. So for a neutral palette, I went with that. Um, Moonspell. Um, I just like this color story. I'm probably going to get more use out of these two, but I like the moms. I like there's some browns or some, a couple of greens, blues, purples. Like this is probably like the amount of purples that I would need. This row very much reminds me of the Lunar Lavender palette from Kaleidos. And I honestly probably don't need it having this row right here because I don't use purples a ton. So this would give me the purples that I would need and be perfectly fine. And it's an interesting color story. Then we have Gingerbread Spice. This is probably one of my most used chocolate bar shaped palettes. I just really, really like this. It's far superior, in my opinion, to the Pumpkin Spice palette. Like the only reason I'm gonna keep that is because they've, the last three years, they've released a Pumpkin Spice palette and I'm gonna keep it probably for review purposes, but that one's probably not gonna get a ton of use. Just because the shade in that palette that's similar to this, this one performs so much better. And Gumdrop is so much better than that shade in the other palette, the other one's dry. This one's not. I've gotten compliments every time I've used this. You've got some pretty like antique gold shades, some neutrals, but I tend to stay on this side over here with the pinks and the purples, but really, really like that. Again, that one travels very well. And then I decided mm -hmm. to keep my berries and cream. It's a mauve purpley, neutral. I like Dominique Cosmetics formulas. Her shimmers are really nice, like cranberry and sugar cookie are very pretty. Let's see, we'll do cranberry. Like they're not the most intense shimmers that you're ever gonna see, but they're pretty. And the mattes in here are nice. And it's just a nice like wintry color story. I mean, you can definitely use it all year, but it's a pretty like berry neutral palette. So that was the second five. Okay. So now we're in to the last five. So what does everybody think my last five are going to be? Again, pause it and leave me down comments down below. The first one is my Too Faced anniversary palette. This is a big one. And it honestly doesn't get used as much because of my palette volume, but Again, this is one I've gotten compliments every time I use it. You've got some mauves, you've got some pops of color. The shimmers in here are really, really pretty. You have some nice satin shades. The people's gripe with this is there's not that many mattes. I think there's only three. Gretchen, I can't even, and Gigi are the only three true mattes. The satins that are in this top row can be used as a matte. I've used them like that, like Ice Queen. I've used it in the crease and it's fine. And then you've got actual like glittery shades. So I don't know. I really like this palette. And I think if I had less, obviously it would get more use out of, I would get more use out of it. The last green palette is from Juvia's Place in The Tribe. My dogs are playing in the living room, so you can hear them. I apologize. This is a grungy color story. You've got a couple of blues. You've got some actual greens, this like mossy brown. Hey, no, no. They're gonna knock my lights over. Um, this orange, I wanna swatch, I don't know, whatever this shade, it, I'm not gonna even try and pronounce it. It looks white in the pan, but it's got kind of a yellowy gold shift. And then Oromo is the center shade. And it again looks gold, but it's got like a shift to it. And they're just so pretty. Like this is a really unique 
grungy, pretty palette. Again, I've gotten compliments every time. This is probably my favorite Juvia's Place palette. Oh, oh. I have my towel on the floor. Okay, and then I decided to keep a pastel palette. So I went with the Nomad. Um, Harajuku palette, I think is Kari, something like that. This Tokyo, I think it's the Nomad Tokyo Har Harajuku is something like that. Anyway, it's a pastel palette. So you've got a complete matte row, a satin row, a shimmer row, and these shimmers are so pretty. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce them. The purple one is right there. Um, green. Again, I'm not going to I'll end up butchering. Like it just makes your eyelid wet. Like they're just so pretty. And I like the satin row. Not everybody does. It's not everybody's favorite formula. I don't mind it. And I like the mattes in here. Um, I got, I've gotten some pretty looks out of it. So that was my pastel choice. Um, and then I decided to keep my volume three from ABH. It's got neutrals, so I've got some more, you know, browns to play with, but it's got some pretty neon shades in here. The glitters in here are nice. I don't know, I just like this palette a lot. And then finally, I decided to keep my Jaclyn Hill original. I think I have one of the original ones. I don't think that this is a reformulated one. I could be mistaken, because I got mine a little bit later, but I think I got it before they reformulated, but mine works just fine either way. And I've done some pretty holiday looks with this. And I've done quite a few looks on my channel with this duping other palettes, just because a lot of people have this and it's an affordable option. And it's, I ended up keeping this over my original pumpkin spice just because it has all of the shades in it plus some. And this one's more accessible because I do factor that in a little bit because I do make videos. So yeah, that was my 5, 10, and 15 palettes if I was only going to keep 5, 10, and 15. Were you surprised by the palettes that I chose? Let me know. I was. when I, Because like I said, I set out and I picked the first five and I got those out. And then I was like, okay, if I'm going to keep five more. And then I went through and then I did the same thing for 15. So I was surprised with what I ended up picking. Um, and I went about it that way because I didn't want to base it off of a full 15 like if I went in and just picked 15 and then split them up with a full collection in mind so I went about it 5 10 and 15 um yeah I was very surprised with the ones that I picked but let me know what you guys thought um if you have more than 15 palettes in your collection currently which ones would you keep let me know like top five I would be very curious. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't, make sure your notification bell is turned on. I am going to start doing giveaways again. Probably in December, I'm going to be gone for part of November. I'm going to go visit my grandma. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do any giveaways this month. I mean, I can, but the stuff won't get mailed out until December. But hopefully... I can start getting back to doing giveaways for you guys because I do have a big bag of stuff. So I do have things for you. I just have not been able to get my life together enough. October flew by. November's already probably going to be a mess. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so, so much. I think I've rambled enough. I appreciate you watching and hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.